For decades, researchers on the frontiers of theoretical physics have tried to come up with a unified understanding of general relativity, Einstein's picture that gravity comes from the warping of space-time by matter and energy, and quantum mechanics, the sometimes bizarre physical rules needed to understand physics at subatomic distances. This unification is crucial in order for us to properly understand some of the most mysterious features of our universe, black holes, the Big Bang, and the dark energy that is causing the accelerated expansion of our universe. Achieving this unification has been a notoriously difficult problem. Stephen Hawking even suggested that general relativity may actually be fundamentally incompatible with standard quantum mechanics, though he later changed his mind. In recent years, researchers in string theory have encountered a startling revelation. Even in ordinary situations, Einstein's geometrical picture of gravity can be seen to emerge from an even more fundamental description, and that description is inherently quantum mechanical. My paper, Space-Time from Bits, gives a clear demonstration of space-time emerging from quantum physics. It relies on the idea of entanglement, the intrinsically quantum mechanical correlations that can exist between parts of a quantum system and which give quantum computers their power over classical computers. I show how starting with a very large number of discrete, non-interacting physical components, or bits, and adding quantum entanglement between these bits in a special way, the physics of a single connected gravitational universe emerges. When the entanglement is removed, this universe breaks up. The precise nature of the bits is unimportant. It is the quantum entanglement added to the system that gives rise to the space-time and gravity, not the bits themselves. The bits in my construction bear a similar relation to the universe they describe that the physical bits in a computer chip bear to the world of a video game. The video game characters are not made of the bits. Rather, the bits are a vessel for the information that allows those characters to exist. Similarly, the bits in my construction are not the atoms of space-time, but a vessel for the quantum information and entanglement that leads space-time to exist. It is as if our universe is made of the quantum information stored in the memory of a quantum computer.